Hey, it's Marita. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I Today I have a prop. I have a hairbrush. This morning I was noticing that it needed to be cleaned. And I started reflecting on, hey Christine, I started reflecting on how many brushes I've had over my life. And I realized, well, several things, how spoiled we are that we can just go buy a new brush. Um, but also, dare I say, the quality of the brushes that are made these days. And the reason I say that is because when I noticed my brush needed to be cleaned, I had this flashback of coming in to my childhood bathroom and on the vanity was a paper towel with my mother's brush on it because she had just cleaned it. And it was from Germany. It was a had a wooden handle and I don't know, but she washed that guy, that sucker little, that little guy, and had it her entire life. I, when I was cleaning out the estate, I came upon it and the handle, the, the varnish had come off. So she was 80 something or whatever. And let's just say she bought it, even if she bought it in the United States, that was uh, 58. I think, I think they came to the United States in 58. They went, they lived in Toronto. My mom moved, came to Toronto in 54. So, but that's a long time for a brush to live. And I kind of, I mean, I, I didn't want the brush, right? So I, th I threw it out. Like, who's going to want this old brush? Um, but that got me, wa that, that got me thinking about, not only, you know, like I said, the, the luxury we have of replacing something, um, but also the quality with which something's made. Like, is it worth me trying to clean this? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. But um, it also kind of leads into the memories of something as simple as a hairbrush that most of us use every day. And it could possibly lead to uh, feeling sad, to the grief, the loss, the, oh, she's been gone. For 11 and a half years, nine and a half years, which way am I going? 12, July of 12, so the other way around. So what I remember about my mom thinking ahead to Thanksgiving is uh, she knew how to set a table, the linen, the fine china, the silverware, the silverware, not the flatware, the crystals, the crystal um, stemware, the fine serving pieces. She knew how to do that. She knew how to entertain in that old fashioned way where you stand. I didn't know this was going to happen. Where you stand behind the chair. The host and hostess, they tell you where to, where you'll be sitting. And you stand behind the chair and you wait until you're invited to sit. And then you wait until you're invited to begin. That's how I was raised. Oh, and now, nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that is what I, I don't even know when I would possibly have anybody who'd want to play like that. So that's just this uh, memory. Actually, I went deeper with the memory with you guys. But if you are kind of regretting, not regretting, um, um, what's the word? You're not looking forward to the holidays for one reason or another because someone's not gonna be at the table with you. And 
there's always more work. Hey, Wendy. Um, nice to have you here. There's almost always more healing. There's always more excavation to do around loss, grief, family, holidays. What do they mean? What do they not mean? What are they supposed to mean to you? What are they? <laughs> All of that. Oh my God, life can get so complicated. Um, that said, if you are wanting to spend time with people who understand and maybe struggling with the same kinds of things, just with different labels or different people or whatever, you know, it might be your mother, but it might be this person's child. Don't know. I have created a beautiful sacred container that's starting actually next week that will take my, we will go through my book and use my book as a template for a container to hold us as we move through the holidays and start the 2022 on Firm Foundation. So if that is appealing to you, I would love for you to consider joining me and take your healing to the next level. Take your life, because as you heal, you elevate, right? Um, and take your life to the next level too. So I hope that you'll consider joining me with the kaleidoscope. It's called a kaleidoscope. Your sacred journey of transformation. Super, super exciting. I'm super excited to be working with Grace and the people who want to take their, um, their healing to the next level and possibly the next level. I don't know where it's gonna go. So that's all I have for you from a random brush to this. I will see you another time. Message me if you have anything you'd like to talk about that's not, you don't wanna put it public. I'm happy to, I'm happy to help. I'll see you on the internet waves another time.